Splunk, it's mostly a, a dashboard tool wherein you can uh, publish the execution data or you can publish different logs or different events from uh, different sources. And then uh, there's option to create the indexes and dashboards in Splunk. So I'm calling it Splunk integration, but it's uh, the capability we added. Uh, it's, you know, generic enough to be used with any external uh, tool which supports API, uh, which exports, you know, the API to upload the data. Okay. For example, if you have uh, Kibana or Grafana, which knows, uh, which exports the API and uh, that API can uh, be triggered from uh, using the endpoint. So you can do that as well from Jinja, which we'll see in uh, next couple of minutes. So the purpose of uh, this integration is, you know, uh, for all the Jinja executions, you have the option to create the report. But let's say you want to capture all the executions from uh, multiple places and uh, consolidate it in uh, one common place. You can uh, send it to Splunk and then you can create some custom dashboards as per the project needs in Splunk. So this is, uh, this is the purpose and uh, the key use case of uh, Splunk integration. And uh, moving to the actual demo itself, uh, basically what we have is in the in the run set. Uh, if I'll go to the same run set, we added option uh, new run set operation called send the execution JSON data to external source. So if I'll add this operation uh, under this, we'll have a few configurations. We'll need to configure the endpoint URL. So this is where it is generic. So you can configure a Splunk endpoint or any other uh, endpoint which supports, uh, you know, sending the events to it. So uh, I already have the one action created. I configured uh, the endpoint uh, for the Splunk that we have uh, currently. We need to specify any request headers, uh, the authorization tokens or any other uh, headers like we do for any REST action. And then uh, in the uh, request body itself, there are option uh, in the value expression. Uh, if you uh, remember, we added the option for flow details. So for run set, we added uh, one more op option called execution JSON data. So if you will execute the uh, actual uh, run set, and you will add this execution JSON data option. It will actually uh, calculate and send the uh, run set data of this execution, this particular execution. So I'll delete this one and uh, we'll try to actually execute uh, the operation that we have. So you will be able to actually see how it works. So let's try to run the same uh, run set and uh, we'll see uh, the execution JSON data. Let's wait for a few seconds to for the flow to be executed. Yeah, so now uh, the flow is executed. So in the operation, we see that it's running the uh, operation to send the execution data. But in the meanwhile, uh, I can show you the runtime values of the execution data itself. If we'll calculate, we'll see that uh, Ginger is calculating all the uh, values of this particular execution. So maybe I'll copy the JSON uh, just for you to see the results. So this is the execution data that will be sent to Splunk. Uh, you can see you have the, uh, the version on which it is executed, the user or machine. Then you have also drill down to the runners level or business flow level. You can also see uh, what was the status of the particular action or uh, activity. So it's full details of all the uh, execution. Now uh, you might be thinking, you know, uh, I might not need all this data in my Splunk. I don't want to, uh, you know, uh, gather a lot of data there, which I don't need. I need to decide which, uh, which parameter should be exported. So for this, we have the option uh, on the action to select a report template. So right now there is only one default template. So in the configurations, if we if we go to the report templates, 
I can uh, create a new report template or I can modify the existing one. And here uh, we had the HTML and email report configuration earlier. Now we also added uh, the JSON data execution data, JSON data section wherein you can control uh, completely control which data to be sent. Let's say I don't want to send the actions at all. I can remove them or let's say I don't want to uh, for the activities. I don't want to send the uh, let's say variables. I don't need the activity variables. I can remove those specific fields or uh, even from the run set uh, if we don't need all these details. I have uh, the freedom to uh, uncheck the uh, not required fields or not required data. We can save this configuration and uh, basically at runtime uh, based on the template selected it will uh, pick only the data which is uh, which you desire to send to the external source. So this is how uh, we can send it to the external source and uh, create you know the dashboards in uh, Splunk and also as part of this uh, session we are not going to cover the Splunk part of it how it looks like in Splunk and all but uh, more or less you will be able to publish the uh, you know data from uh, Ginger to other external sources.